Tonight, people in southwest Austin are on the lookout after a woman was attacked near a trail. That attack happened in the middle of the day just after noon at the Circle C Ranch Metro Park off Slaughter Lane. As KXAN's Amanda Brandeis reports, runners are already taking precautions. It's a park people here describe as safe, a place for families. We're out here all the time. Um, my kids both play for Lone Star soccer, and so we practice out here usually two or three times a week. Police say as a woman drank from a water fountain, someone grabbed her from behind. He then pushed her to the ground and ran away. It's unbelievable. You know, it's where's the respect, you know. Where's, where can you be safe? After hearing the news, Bridget Bloomquist decided to stay at the park while her daughter had a one-on-one -on -one soccer lesson. We did um, tell the, the coach he hadn't heard about the incident, so I said, please make sure that you do not leave the girls alone. We're told there's usually a lot of people here at the park during the day, but a lot less since soccer season has ended. I asked police if there were any witnesses, and they said no. Our runners in general are pretty vigilant right now because there's been a number of attacks in and around Austin. Rogue Running is reminding its members about how to be aware on the trail, not wearing earphones and running with a partner. Certainly be aware and do the things you can do to protect yourself, but don't be scared. Be, be defiant. And until they can make an arrest, police are urging the rest of us to do the same. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. The man police are looking for is described as Hispanic and in his 40s. He has a beard and he was wearing a black baseball hat, a long sleeve black shirt and dirty jeans. We're told the woman was not hurt. While police have not linked this attack to any others, police in North Austin have been investigating a series of sexual assaults. They think the same man has attacked eight women along the 183 corridor since last November. Last month, we told you they were taking a new approach to solving the cases, asking managers for information on contractors in the area. So far, no arrests have been made in those cases, but police do have a sketch of the suspect they are only showing to victims right now. Victims say he is white or Hispanic in his mid-20s. He has a skinny build with short brown hair, dark eyes, and wears a mask covering part of his face.